Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing spring cleaning in my kitchen. As you can see, it really needed just an overall clean, but also a declutter, organization, things like that. I really just had to go through and take care of some things that I've been putting off for quite some time and overall just organization and getting rid of some things. So that's what I did. I went through here and, well, the kids seem to always put chairs in the kitchen area from the dining room because they like to climb up on the chairs and help me with things. As I'm cooking and whatnot, doing dishes, whatever, they like to go up there and help me. So that's why there are always chairs there, it seems. So I do need to figure out a better system for that. But for now, we're just always moving chairs around and that's fine. So Anyway, as you can see, I had the games up there on the shelf and I really wanted to put the microwave up there, but I hadn't been able to figure out a good way to do that until now. I didn't think the cord would reach, but it actually did. So I was really happy about that. And since I know I'll probably get questions about the wipes that I'm using, what I do is I fill, not fill completely, but I put in that gallon size jar, I will put half water, the solution that I use, half water, half vinegar, and a couple drops of dish soap. And then I just put some rags in there. I actually just got some cheap cotton washcloths from Walmart and then just put that in there. I'm going to try some with sponges and see how that works out. Just sponges with like terry cloth on the outside. I don't know. I ordered them. We'll see how like what they wind up looking like. Also, we had an ant problem <laughs> and we always have ants in this house, whether it's even in the winter. My husband calls them winter ants. It's, it's pretty aggravating. If you know me, you know I'm like super freaked out by bugs. And anyway, so I, I've been having like 15 heart attacks every single day from these bugs, these ants, and they, they drove me crazy. In the winter, I was like, this isn't right. They're not supposed to be here all the time, like every day. Anyway, so yeah, even when we, when we moved into this house, it was like full of ants and there was nothing in the house, nothing, empty, full of ants. Um, not empty because they were ants, but anyway, <laughs> uh, they were also like just different kind of bugs when we moved in. But again, that wasn't like that was before we were even actually moved in. So something must not quite be right, but this is a rental and we will be hopefully buying a house within the next couple years. We will see. And anyway, so here I am just organizing the canisters using my label maker, which I can leave linked down below. I love this thing. And as you can see here, I just have some random jars of things. I have the wipes, which I at first didn't know where to put, but then I ultimately wound up keeping them on this counter as well. But then I have just some baking supplies like flour, sugar, brown sugar, chocolate chips, hot chocolate mix, I think, pancake mix. And I have one of the jars for wheat berries that I grind so well like flour obviously so like the hard white wheat I have hard white wheat berries and I have a mill like a hand mill I guess but I haven't ever opened it and I think I ground a little bit I tried different ways to grind it but it didn't come out fine enough into like the kind of flour that I wanted so I just nixed that but I kept the canister I cleaned it out really well and I just keep it there for when I'm ready to put the flour in. So for right now, I have plenty of all-purpose flour. You'll see later in this video how I've been using up flour that I keep in storage. So anyway, yeah, that's just what I'm, I'm just keeping an empty canister there for, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's not maybe the best situation, but um, yeah, I don't think it looks bad. It's fine. So I'm just probably going to replace it with another canister of something else further down the road, I guess. So as you can see over here on this counter, there is a red stain of something. I don't know what it was. I'm trying to think like, what did I make that was red? I mean, the kids make concoctions all the time, but <laughs> I mean, do we make red jello? Like, I don't remember, but so I used the pink stuff to try and get it off and it did lighten the stain quite a bit, but it did not remove it completely. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but for now I just left it as is and maybe eventually as I keep wiping down the counter, eventually it will just come off. But yeah, for now I just didn't know what to do about that. It's fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> and over here I am cleaning off my recipe book stand, which I love this thing. It's heavy duty. They had a few different color choices back when I got it, I think a few years ago. And I'll try to leave that linked below too. Hopefully I remember to do that because that's just like such a random thing but um yeah i guess all these things i'm mentioning are kind of random but yeah whatever i can in this video even if i forget to mention it i will link it below 
because I love the things that I have in the kitchen and elsewhere. I just love the things that I have. So yeah, that's that stand and it gets really dusty and it's been a while since I cleaned it. So I was really glad to have gotten that. You can see there are a lot of cracks and crevices that just collect dust. So yeah, just really trying to move things around to clean under them, which is something, you know, that happens typically anyway when I'm cleaning off the counter to move things around. But I obviously did some extra things in this video because it is more of a deep clean, more of a spring cleaning situation. So down there on those shelves, I just kind of keep some random produce. And for the most part, that's usually what I put there and parchment paper. I don't know, it's so random, but the parchment paper box is big, so it won't fit in the drawer. And the foil and plastic wrap and whatever I have in the drawers already barely fit. So anyway, and then I have to keep the Ziploc bags in like another random spot. So it's not the best situation, but this kitchen is kind of funky. <laughs> it's shaped kind of strange, kind of different, but it's okay. I mean, nothing, it doesn't have to be perfect. Not everything has to be in the same cabinet or the same drawer, you know, that's life and it's totally fine. So usually when I'm doing a deep clean on the stove, I will use the pink stuff. It cleans so nicely, but I did not do that today. I just had to get it quickly cleaned off so I can lay some towels down because I had a lot of dishes to do. As you probably saw, I was extremely behind on dishes. I've only ever been this behind, I think twice before. I think once was when we first moved in, I think, and then another time was because our drain was clogged. I'm pretty sure, oh no, there may have been, one of the times may have been that our water heater wasn't working or something like that. I can't remember, there was some situation going on. So yeah, it felt pretty overwhelming, but it's not, okay, it's not like awful. But anyway, yeah, so that's me just like trying to catch up on dishes and it's kind of fun. I like to do the dishes. The ants have caused a bit of an issue because I have to lean over the sink. I can't let my body touch the sink or the counter. And so I'm kind of, I kind of have to hunch a little bit. And so after like a while that starts to hurt. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it was fine. I got through it and I do like genuinely enjoy cleaning and I genuinely enjoy doing the dishes. I know some for some people it's like not the task they like. For me, the task that I really don't like is cleaning the bathtub. So I will kind of do that as I'm taking a shower. That is so random. But anyway, here I am just catching up on the dishes and letting them dry. I think, I, yeah, I let them dry overnight because this video will take you into the next day. So it was pretty, like a pretty long process, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and play some music for y'all for a little bit while I'm doing the dishes and then get back to you with my melodious voice very soon.
So here I was just showing you some dishes that I just got for the children. These are eight inch dishes made of bamboo fiber. And I just really like them. I mean, we haven't used them much. We just got them. So yeah, I wound up getting a few more patterns and they just, I was very pleasantly surprised when I found them on Amazon. I was looking for dishes similar to this and yeah, just really happy that I found them and just was able to, you'll see later in the video, I kind of am going through dishes and clearing things out and making room for dishes that make more sense, things that go together and kind of give me more peace of mind and things that are more practical for our family personally. And anyway, I let the kids kind of pick out some patterns and what not maybe not my first choice of patterns for some of them but that's okay <laughs> and the one pattern that i showed there the more whimsical one the one with the i forget what's on it um i i really like it and there there was only one left i got the last one and then when i went back every time i look it's gone so i'm gonna keep checking because i i just love that pattern but i'm not gonna buy more right now i'm just curious if they are going to restock it or not but anyway i'll leave those linked down below as well and yeah if you're interested those are bamboo fiber like I said and they are supposed to be unbreakable I think we'll see <laughs> and I've got a lot of little kids in this house but yeah eight inches super practical I really like them and they're very easy to clean which is kind of what I was looking for as well because we do not have a dishwasher in this house I know I get a lot of comments on the breakfast videos I make and probably other videos as well just people comment on the amount of paper plates I use and whatnot but that's pretty normal um here where I live, people use paper plates, and I've got lots of reasons for using them, but one of them is when I'm having more hectic days, I wanna be able to do things like play games with the kids and things like that, so I try to not have all my time consumed with my OCD um, habits of washing dishes where I just have to wash and rewash and rewash, and then I take a very long time on a single dish, and I'm trying to work through that, you know, but anyway, it's that's extra difficult when you don't have a dishwasher, so. Here I am just cleaning the sink out. I keep baking soda next to the sink. I have baking soda for cleaning and the baking soda for baking. But yeah, this is the, um, I just keep a jar next to the sink. Like I said, and I just sprinkle it in there. And then I put a little dish soap on the sponge and then scrub the sink out. So the sink has not gotten a good deep clean in quite some time. So there was there were lots of areas that really, really needed it. So I was glad I got the faucet nice and shiny. So that was nice. And then I cleaned out this here, uh, what is it called, thing that I keep next to the sink for my scrub brushes and stuff. And then that one scrub brush I put off to the side because it looked like it was kind of getting mildew or something built, built up on it. I did not want that in there with, you know, the brush I'm using to clean my baby's bottles and <laughs> things like that. So I wound up soaking them. I'll show you here soon. I had this container that or not a container it's a bowl really that I took from the kitchen like it was one of the bowls we used for popcorn for movie nights but I labeled it for cleaning only or something like that or for cleaning anyway um and I just used that for cleaning projects because I have I found that I needed it for so many things that I could have used that bowl for so I just designated one for that and I'm happy that I did because it has come in handy many times so as you can see here I just moved that little thing. I know I'm so descriptive today with the, in, the, in this voiceover. I am tired. Anyway, that thing for the on the drying rack that um, I don't know what it's for really, but I hardly ever use it. But I moved it up to a higher shelf. Oh, there's the bowl. And I moved it up to a higher shelf to get it out of the way so I could put the soaps here. And that's much more practical for me. Anyway, so here I am just making a solution of vinegar and water to soak this stuff in that container or that canister I had gotten at a yard sale. So I wanted to just make sure I was kind of sanitizing it and cleaning it really well. And I did not have bleach. I wanted to use bleach for this, but anyway, the kids cups, sippy cups sometimes get a little funky in the lids. So every, periodically I'll just soak them, which basically just gets them nice and clean and gives me a lot of peace of mind. Hey everyone, it's the next day and I've got a lot left to do. This stuff behind me, you can see I still have the dishes to put away. I have that counter to clean off and so I'm just going to do the last part of this video with raw noise, just cleaning it up and a lot of people, a lot of people in this house are sleeping. It's been a long, exhausting day. I won't get into all the details, but I'm tired. I have a migraine so I took my hair down. It was kind of hurting and 
So it's just real life here, guys. I just gotta get the rest of this stuff done. And I've got Freddie here with me. He's watching from his swing and Owen is now awake. He might help me out here and there or he might play a game actually. So I'll just quickly get this stuff done, get the dishes put away and then clear off that counter back there. So one thing I'm about to do is go through my plates, some of my dishes and stuff, and kind of uh, just put things to the side that I won't be, that I will no longer be keeping because I don't use them. And I'll be seeing some of my sisters today and my mom. I'll just see if anybody wants anything before I donate them. So that's what I'm about to do. So for now, this is what I'm keeping. These plates I'll probably not keep, but for now, like I said, keeping those in there. And I got my, some kids plates, kids bowls, more kids plates, just regular plates, snack plates, and more kids plates. And I'll just be replacing our dishes with some other dishes. Now this container here, I do plan on just keeping up here on the shelf with the lid on it, which is drying right now, but I'm going to store the baby's formula in there, probably, and then just pull it down as I need it. So what this right here is, is flour that I keep this, I don't know if, yeah you can kind of see it, I keep this container here that has, it has a stuff inside that I need to sift the flour and then these were packed away in storage with um, oxygen absorbers and so I keep this close by the strainer and then the strainer, the sifter and then sift some when I need it and then just put it into the flour bin when I need it. So I'll just keep that over here, it's fine. Okay, so these are the dishes I will be parting with. These seven mugs right here. These plates, that bowl, and there's another bowl in the sink, and I think there are, there must be a bowl somewhere else, but I do not know where, so I will try and figure out. I know we had like probably just three or four bowls, so unless, no, we may have gotten rid of another one because I knew I was getting rid of the dishes, so. I don't know, anyway, so these are the dishes we have for now, and there's a lot more I could be doing in this kitchen such as like organizing these shelves. I just won't get to it today or for the next while. Therefore, it can't be in this video because it won't be gotten to for a while, like I literally just said. Anyway, so that's what I did today in this kitchen. I could probably clean off the front of the fridge, blah, 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 but I'm glad I got the bulk of it done. I definitely got a lot done. I'm excited to have the formula up there. I know it's trivial not not a big deal but 
it's exciting for me. I'm excited that I got the microwave up there. Anyway, whoops. That's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. And sorry, I'm kind of blah at the end here. I'm just really tired and I've got a migraine. And I have to go roast some carrots for uh, some place we're going tonight. So, anyway, that's, that's going to be a wrap. Say goodbye, Freddy boy. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh.